Now, Hamas is a jihadist organization. In my view, that's all we need to know about it. The question of how it got that way is fundamentally uninteresting, as is the question of why so many Palestinians have come to support it. It would be like asking in 1941 how the SS became so radicalized. And why do so many millions of Germans support it? That's an interesting question now, right now that Nazism has been defeated. But in 1941, there was nothing to do but kill Nazis. I feel exactly the same way about jihadists. In fact, jihadists are worse than Nazis, in my view. They don't have the same power the Nazis had in the 30s and 40s, which is a very good thing, and we should keep it that way. But their ideology is actually worse. Jihadism is essentially Nazism plus an expectation of paradise. It's Nazism plus religious fanaticism. Nazism plus an eagerness to be martyred and to see their children martyred. There are many differences between Nazism and jihadism, of course, but they only make the Nazis look comparatively benign. Okay, Nazism was a quasi-religious phenomenon. Right? These people were not rationalists. It was basically racist mysticism anchored to a cult of personality. But the Nazis didn't use their own women and children as human shields. That would have been worse. How could you have made Auschwitz worse? Well, you could have given the guards a belief system that made them feel actual religious ecstasy as they herded innocent people into gas chambers. That would have been worse. And it would have been worse had these beliefs been central to the worldview of a majority of ordinary Germans and therefore difficult to separate from their other religious beliefs that gave their lives meaning. Right? That would have been worse than what Nazism actually was. And that would have made it harder to purge from German society after we had killed a sufficient number of committed Nazis. Now, as I've made clear many times before, my support for Israel in this conflict is not born of my identity as a Jew. It's not born of my attachment to the religion of Judaism, of which I have none. And while the eruption of global anti-Semitism in response to October 7th has changed my sense of the vulnerability of Jews everywhere, my support for Israel in this war isn't due to a special focus on the problem of anti-Semitism or a special connection to Israel as a country. It's born of a special connection to civilization, to the norms of open societies, to individual rights and freedom of thought, and to secularism and rationality and basic decency, that is to everything that jihadists seek to destroy.